Hello everyone and welcome to Not As Fan Plays Madden 11 Moments. This Madden moment is Student is the Master. One year removed from the Patriots, new Broncos head coach Josh McDaniels had a chance to defeat his old team. In an overtime thriller, he did just that and the Broncos won on a field goal. Take control of the Broncos on the final drive of the fourth quarter and send the crowd home happy. Okay, so we are the Broncos. It is fourth quarter, 137 remaining, and a tie score as uh, as Josh McDaniels looks on here. And the Broncos wearing their AFL throwbacks as well as the Patriots. Uh, deadlocked here as Kyle Orton will come and try to lead the Broncos for the winning score. We'll work out of the shotgun here. As Orton uh, surveys the field, rolls a bit right, runs into a bit of trouble, and dumps it off to Graham for uh, well, basically no gain. They get about a yard out of it, and it looks like Graham is hurt in the process. So that play didn't go so well other than the fact that we got out of bounds, 131 uh, remaining. So uh, we will look for better results on second down and nine. Orton will come under center this time to take the snap. And again, be looking downfield here as he'll throw... Uh, oh, tipped and then almost caught. Uh, kind of a messy play, but uh, almost got yardage out of it that we shouldn't have had. As you see Prater uh, warming up on the sideline for a potential game-winning kick. And Brader, Brady, uh, as cool as he always is, drinking his Gatorade and just uh, taking it in on the sideline there. So uh, Orton's got a third and nine to contend with here. And they've got to convert here just to just to keep the ball or at least uh, avoid a fourth down attempt. So looking, uh, looking to pass. And this time, um, again, broken up by a defender who probably should have picked this ball. But uh, nonetheless, uh, <laughs> we've got a fourth down attempt uh, coming up, and we've got to make our decision here. And the decision is let's go for it. So anyway, uh, fourth and nine at the 44. Not going to be a good thing if we don't convert here. Um, so let's uh, let's convert here, shall we? We get the quick drop and poof into traffic. But that is a heck of a catch. Comes on down with it for the first down. I think he had three defenders around him. Yet he went up and got it at the point of the uh, the high point of the pass and uh, pulled it down and was stood a hit. So so here we've got first and ten. <laughs> we made the big first uh, big fourth down conversion, and we're going to look at running the ball here to the left-hand side. So uh, Moreno in the backfield will take the handoff. Gets a nice uh, nice bit of a block out front of him. Cuts it inside just a bit and gets himself, oh, about eight yards. So we got, uh, we're getting closer to the point where we can kick this and uh, and and end this game or at least uh, take, take the lead. And what we want to do now is kill all of, uh, most if not all of that clock, and we don't want to give uh, Brady any chance whatsoever. So Moreno, oh, big run up the middle, and uh, no one's interested in tack tackling him there. So he actually gets in the end zone. Um, so much for for killing that clock, but we we get the score, and you know you're not going to argue against the score. So uh, Moreno, as you see see those uh, Patriots. Uh, D-line go down like bowling pins there. Uh, some nice blocks uh, by the Bronco uh, O-linemen. So 23-17, looking at an extra point to make it uh, make it a seven-point lead. And Prater will come on to do that right now. And we'll get it, no problems. So 24-17 Broncos, but we've left a minute eight left on the clock, which I'm not too happy about. But here again, you see the O-line just demolish the Patriots D-line. And Moreno uh, basically walks in for the touchdown. So we will kick deep and hope uh, that our defense will keep Brady out of the uh, out of the end zone here with 106 left. So that's the challenge that remains. Dial up the defense to uh, to take care of Brady and the Pats here. Hopefully it can be done. So uh, McDaniel's in the warm in the warm uh, coat trying to uh, get his team through this here. So Brady to the to the line, out of the shotgun. Uh, Going to look for a receiver here. And uh, very on Brady-like, although he's got pressure right in his face, just uh, dumps this ball into the, into the turf, into the frozen turf. So um, second and ten, and he's hoping, he's telling this team, please uh, keep him off me so I can throw the ball downfield. So 
Brady looking again, again having some pressure, again he's got to throw it into the turf. So third and ten, they've gone nowhere. They got 59 seconds left. Defense man is all bundled up there, but he's still bringing the defense sign. That's dedication. All right, so third and ten. Uh, Brady <laughs> hoping to maybe have it have some time to actually make a toss here. Um, better protection this time around. Gets the pass off, although they rule incomplete here as they say he's out of bounds, and yep, he was out of bounds. So, fourth and ten, last shot at it here. Uh, well, at least if they don't convert. So, they got to get this fourth and ten. Brady getting better protection, does find Welker for uh, more than he needs for the first down, and they got a chance here. 45 seconds and rolling on this clock, they got to get up and get set. And uh, that they do, and they he they uh, the spike ball. it. So 40 seconds left, and they got second and ten. And now you got to wonder. Brady's got a, a little bit better possession to work with here. We got to uh, we got to come up with some stops here. We thought we had him on fourth down, couldn't contain Welker. So here they get some more shots, and here Brady's drilled, but he finds Holt, and they are in Denver territory to 35. Now remember, a field goal does nothing here. Time is running. They have got to get in the end zone. 25 seconds as Brady snaps it and uh, spikes it right into the turf. So Broncos have 25 seconds in which they've got to hold on here and keep Brady at bay. Out of the shotgun one more time. Brady looking. And uh, they're converging on him, and he gets hit hard. He holds in there and, and, and completes the moss. That is a first down. Once again, though, time is on uh, Denver's side here. Brady, one more spike, 12 seconds left. So you're looking at a couple plays uh, that have to result in getting into the end zone here before time expires. So uh, probably two plays left. Brady looking again this time. Um, just drilled as he hangs onto that ball a little too long. Gets rid of it, but uh, it's nothing to show for. So third and ten, and uh, he's got to he's got to get deep here. This probably got to happen on this play, and it's not going to happen as he's <laughs> thrown down to the turf and somehow gets rid of the ball. And that's a that's a big play there. Um, it'll bring up a fourth down, one last chance as you see Brady thrown around like a rag doll there. So they do get one more chance. It's four seconds left. It's fourth and ten. This is this is everything here. So we got three receivers left. Brady gonna look to throw to the end zone. He's not gonna get it off. He's hit. Williams makes the interception on the on the ball. The batted straight up into the air. Big lineman making the uh, interception, and that's a Madden moment success for the Denver Broncos and for me. Come on back next time to see some more Madden moments. This is not a fan. Having a lot of fun with this, guys. Hope you enjoy it, too. See you later.